Right, let's open this garage, see what's in there. Uh. Damn, it's jammed tight. Of course it is. That would have been too easy. doing up there she's got anger issues against this guy Molly <laughs> Molly what I think you got it one more <sighs> he's wearing medical scrubs some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <laughs> She's got some problem with him. Wow. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. You go in. I'll lift it a little. Not a problem. Look what I found. Ooh, a jack. Oh, yeah. That'll work. Hi, guys. All right, hurry up now. Of course, that had to be the only weak spot, weak, weak fence in the world. Cute. Get in there. Oh, that guy's not dead? You didn't smack him in the head? What's the matter? They can't crawl under? That's kind of silly. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Something you need? Yeah, what was with the outside there? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, uh, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. She's I was just making not sure. being honest. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. So why did you decide to help us? I told you, I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. <laughs> You Cousin sure man. that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? kind of want to keep interrogating you. What do you think happened to Crawford? No, no, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, okay. fuck them. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have a look around. You do that. She's uh She's a little rough around the edges. So there's office door. Lift panel. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. Yeah, no, no power. power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Oh, come on. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. More of Crawford's rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Like, rules like no looting? That blinking. Must be an anti-theft system. Oh, good. The goody. chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to get up there. And not set off the alarm, silly nilly. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can't reach it up there. Okay. Shoo. 
Let me guess, this one's not gonna have a battery. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Looks like Crawford had their own semi-trucks. Okay, so what do we need? I need to... I need to... I need your little cutty thing. Can I Something your, you need? Yeah, I need your blade. Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? <laughs> Take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Oh, that's hilarious. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I got your promise now. Not a scratch. All good weapons have a name. I did it. Whoa, whoa! Oh, boy. That's probably not good. No shit! Knew that was gonna happen. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Oh no. Unscrew. Negative first. Got that one off! It's off. Heavy too. Got it. Go. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Nice. Okay, follow me. Move your ass. I like how he walks. Okay. Great. Now what? Skyline. It's shot. Shoot it out. Ah! And how am I supposed to do that? I'm not a ninja. Okay. She's actually gonna help me this time. Ooh, she's strong. Nice. Okay, so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. <laughs> no, not really. Look at her go! Oh my goodness, she's like Trinity on, from the Matrix. Chicken, jump! Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. I'm older and I don't know, man. Woo! That went pretty well. Things considering. How'd everybody else do? Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Ugh. God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Look at the bloody locker. Logan, that's my son. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Open it. Can't open it without the combination. I want the combination. We gotta find Logan's combination. Oh, these guys didn't even get in their office? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. Oh, we're they didn't even get in yet. Don't worry. Okay, we saw that one. We need to find. I want the combination of Logan's locker. I want to know what's in there. Exits the alley. Oh. 
Let's smush his head. Fuck. The doors won't close all the way. Yeah, I noticed that. Done this before. That'll hold. Damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. Where's the battery? Uh, Molly's got it. Yeah, she's here still. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? <sighs> yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Okay, let's look for Logan's. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. Let's talk to Bree. Maybe she knows how to get the kids' Bree? stuff unlocked. Hey, Lee? Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Yeah, the human team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Ugh. Funny how things work out, huh? It's interesting. How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Hmm. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the wow. sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. Sir. It's how I feel. It must have been really nasty, huh? You'd feel the same. Okay. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. I need to find a locker combo. Locker combo. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's run an tough. errand. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. Okay. Oh. All right. Wonder if that's a combo or not. One seventy one two one seventy one three or something like that. I don't know. Probably not. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. That's my boat. Nothing but construction. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. All right, let's go back outside. Let's go back out into scary land. It's scary land. Did you guys get that door open yet? Like there's a shit ton of walkers out there. 
It sounds like it or looks like it. Let's open it. I think I better leave it alone. <laughs> you think? What's this? Look at the hole. This place definitely has some major damage. Bathroom? That's a good, it's a good thing. I want to open the Logan's locker. Ah! It's not good. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Oh. We have to shoot them all? Okay. Oh no. And I'm out of bullets. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Let's do that again. No! There we go. Aiming that thing's a little off. You guys okay? What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Anything? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Locked. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Hmm. Can we just guess the combination? No. It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. But more importantly, we've got to get into Logan's locker. We don't need medicine. Camcorder. No tape inside. The way this camera is set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I hmm. wonder if it cut someone punching it in. It's a little convenient, don't you think? There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? It's gonna be the combo to Logan. It's gonna be in you Logan's already locker. Check these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. Uh, already cleaned out. Shoot the safe. It's probably not going to work. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. Looks pretty sturdy. No way we're going to force that open. We might be able to find something to pry it open, but it'll take time. We don't have time. Omid needs that medicine. He's we alone. Have to get it open now. It's kind of freaky. He's like at night in this like abandoned house. What if he like suddenly wakes up? And he's like, where did everybody go? to take time to rest later, I think. <laughs> uh, copier. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. It's very quiet in here. Not working. Looks like some kind of medical file. Logan. Anna Correa. No. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Tape to the video. I think maybe we just got lucky. That'd be a first. Let's go to the videotape. Phones probably haven't worked in months. 
Let's go to the videotape. Battery's dead. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. Okay. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Dr. Correa. Logan. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to That's the guy that she killed. Sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh. Oh God, oh God, oh God. That's who Molly killed, the doctor. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. Ugh. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. this but rough. I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. No, open the cabinet. Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. All right. He's gonna have a combo to the locker. Not the smartest thing to go out here by myself with no one else knowing that I went out here. How do I get back over there again? I gotta climb up and over again? How am I gonna get out? Ah! Oh no! That really scared me. Come on, dude. You weren't there last time. What was that that fell on his head? What fell on his head? Oh. oh it scared me. He's gone? Oh, he's climbing away. Oh, great. Stomp the zombie, stomp him. <laughs> All right, Dr. Logan, what do we got on you? A tape. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. This is his locker. All right, now let's get out of here. Shit, time to go. That guy was not observant. How did I get back over the barbed fence? They're gonna scare me in this hallway, aren't they? Logan, this must have been his locker. I could just open it now. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. All right, what's what's going on in here? Something bad happened? You always expect the worst in this game. I found two more tapes. 
One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Okay, let's see. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Oh, look at it. Oh! No. 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 Oh. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. She's really affected by this. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. What about the other tape? We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Sounds like a plan. Any okay. tic tacs? Do you have any tic tacs in there? Because more than my breath is kind of stank. And mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Right, what's on this one? Hopefully it's not the doctor's sexy time tape, because that would be awkward. Kind of scared about this one. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Listen, it as was. long as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This uh, is the last I can give you. I guess that, huh? Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, right. isn't it? So that's why she took it out on him so hard. Okay, so now we've, now we've got some dirt on Molly. Well, shit. Sexy time tape. Sightseeing. I'll take that. Battery. Should we bring it up? Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> that was a good one. That was very funny. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. Picture of her sister. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. 
I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Okay. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Oh. I thought you feel terrible, Lee. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? Uh-oh. I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Going on. Oh, oh. Shit. Bear. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. No. Uh, ben, where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh. oh shit! What an idiot. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. I didn't actually do it. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Whoa. Nice job, Clementine. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! He messed up again. This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, shut the fuck up. Fuck you, Lee. I can't do this anymore. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the uh. motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh boy. No! Kenny, enough! Calm down, man! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Nice group you got here. Oh. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Uh. You know Ben didn't mean any harm. He was just trying to help. And I'm supposed to give a crap about his good intentions? The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's got to get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. Uh. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. Oh no. Don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Ugh. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. Even though he's a menace. 
What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? No, you don't get a say. And definitely not now. You totally don't. You don't get a say. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. All right. Yeah, I don't think Bree should have a vote. Doesn't stay shut. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few yeah. rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Nope. Oh, boy. Sorry to disturb you. That's not going to hold. Back upstairs. We have to go out the window. Lee, look. Hey, nice. There we go. There we go. Get away. Oh, great. I'm going to die. How do I pull the leg? Come on, get that leg out! There we go. Who's got my back? Is it Clem? No. All right, come on. Nice shot. Nice. Get out of here. Get out of my face. I like this. Oh, I want the hatchet. Oh, I should have grabbed the hatchet. Come on. Yay! Let's it's hug. All right, Can we hug later? I'm fine. Let's hug later. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came <laughs> in from here. Why? What, what was I think that? We can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! What was the railroad comment? Come on, let's go! Who keeps ringing the bell? Oh. Oh. No! Hold on, Ben! I've got you! Come on, Shaggy! Climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Lee! Oh! What help? Lee, we both know. Let me go! Come on, dude. Why? Go, go, go! Yes, we got her out. Shoo! Would have made the boat decision a little easier, though. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Is he dead?
Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -mm. Uh, oh, is he alive? Hey. <laughs> back already? <laughs> nice. We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. You okay, kid? You look worse than I do. We almost didn't make it out of there because of this asshole. <laughs> Should have left him behind, but we had the chance. Yeah, Guys, probably be mad at me. Out there? Let someone else tell you. I got work to do. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Is he gonna cry yes. about Bree? Thank you so much. He's Maybe taking now's well. a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Maybe. Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. Well, that's very practical. You want to know the worst part? Okay. What? I don't feel much. Uh. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. Well, it's good to have thick skin, right? What did you want to talk to me about? The railroad. I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. Hmm. Not She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? It's a tough choice You're there. coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You're a good man, Lee. You've been protecting these people as best you can so far, and they look up to you. Rightly so. But it's different with a child. You might have brought her this far, but sooner or later she might ask you for more than you can give her. I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but it's the truth. I appreciate it, Vernon. Let me think about it, okay? I don't know how to you deal with that. any of these decisions. It's tough stuff. Who to leave behind on the boat? I guess we could leave Clementine behind and give him the Vernon. Hmm. That could be easy. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Here goes Molly. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Not going on the boat? What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. It sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen. Okay. I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. I can't let Clementine go. Sweet pea. 
Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? Is Ben going to be okay? He doesn't seem the same since he got back. Ben's a good kid. I think he's just feeling guilty about some of the decisions he's made. He's gotten to feeling like he's a burden on the rest of us. Well, he kind of is. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Hmm. I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. What if her... What if her parents are with Vernon? What if it's one of those people in there? Hey there. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Don't cry. Poor kid. No, I don't leave her with that. No. That was a terrible idea. She's going to call that man. And he's going to say, yeah, I'll help you look for your parents, little girl. And look, here it is. She's gone. And so is the radio. <sighs> Clementine. See. See, Lee. Clementine. Not smart. You told her you couldn't look for the parents. And you gave her the exact thing she can use to go find her parents without you. Wow, everybody's gone. Hello? Clementine? Clementine! There's her hat. Ugh, we done messed up this time. Is that the walkie-talkie? There it is. Grim? God! Jesus. Huh. I think I'd be used to that by now. But no. Oh great, we got blood on the hat. No. 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 I got scratched? No. You out here? Lee? Uh oh. Oh no. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. Oh man, I'm bit. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. And quickly. Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? Lee, I'm sorry. We can't. It's too risky for us. And I have to put him first. He's not well enough to go off on some rescue. Oh, should I tell him I'm bit or not? I can... Uh, He's just not up to it, Lee. 
and I'm not leaving him again. I really am sorry. I hope you find her. But you're gonna have to do it without us. It's okay. I understand. This wasn't an easy decision, Lee. I want you to know that. It's okay, because I'm bit. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine. And I am a Christian man. And I keep asking myself... This guy's this never... me? Asking you for help? Asking you to put your life on the line? Would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Oh, whatever. Kenny, you know what Clementine means to me. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. And you were there for Katja and Duck when it mattered most, I guess. Alright, I'm in. Alright. What about well. you, Ben? Now hold on a damn minute. Do we need Scooby? I'm not going if the Shaggy? shitbird is too. <laughs> Lee, you want to bring Clementine back alive, you'll leave him behind. He fucks up everything he touches. I kind of agree with that. Deal with it, Kenny. The way I see it, Ben still has a chance to make things right. If he wants it. How about it, Ben? I don't know. Whatever you think is Oh, best. why would I take him? Can't make that decision for you, Ben. You have to decide for yourself. You've been good to me, Lee. Even when it's not been easy. Whatever I can do to help, you can count on me. Okay. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. What about the boat? We can take care of it. Get it out on the water. How long do you want us to wait for you? If we're not back by nightfall, we're not coming back at all. Get the boat out onto open water and don't look back. Good luck. All right, here we go. Just the three of us. I should tell him I'm bitten. Something tells me that's gonna come back to haunt me. Oh, I can't believe it. it sucks. All right, so we're back in the sewer. <laughs> back door to Vernon's place. You'd think they would have sealed that up. They're like, that's not good. And they're gone. All the cancer patients. Gone. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! And you're yelling at nothing. No, I don't feel so good. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Where'd they all going? Oh, is it an all-you-can-eat buffet? Only three dollars? Why are we just standing there? <gasps> oh, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! I don't think it's Vernon. Motherfucker. Is it him? Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. Okay. You're fucking dead. Uh. Oh. Snap. Episode five. All right, let's see what our stats are. The boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? You and 25% of the players did not kill him. Oh, okay. So I was in the minority there. 
Hippocratic Oath, did you lie to or threaten Vernon? You and 66% of the players were rational and honest. Did you bring Clementine with you to Crawford? You and 74% broader. Did you let Ben fall to his death? You and 67% of the players pulled him up. And the bite reveal. Did you reveal your bite to the group? You and 19% of the players hid the bite. Wow. Not many people hide the bite. All right. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We'll see, what, we'll see where this leads.